Office Insider allows you to get early access to new features in Microsoft Office and is available for those with a Microsoft 365 subscription in two levels, Beta Channel and Current Channel. Beta Channel, formerly called Insider Channel, is best for those who want to use the latest builds and the new features still in development. The current channel, formerly called Monthly Channel, is best for fans who want early access but also want to receive less frequent, more stable updates. I am Nabil Murad. To join the Insider program, you go to insider.office.com. In this tutorial, I show you how to switch from current channel to beta channel, or the opposite. So let's dive in. I want to switch the Microsoft Office 365 channel, so I start by opening Excel, and what I did in preparation for this, I signed out from my account. That's an important step. So I don't want to sign in, I'm going to close this screen, and I go to account, and it's visible that I'm not signed in. I'll see here at the top, sign in, and I'm going to do that later. As you can see, I'm on the current channel. Then I'm going to close Microsoft Excel and go through the steps for switching the channel. What I did first, I opened a Microsoft website, learn.microsoft.com, and here are the instructions that didn't work for me. I downloaded the Office Deployment tool. I created a file in Notepad. I created a folder on the desktop. I did all these steps. I followed all these steps and I wasn't successful in switching the channel by following these instructions. Then I'm going to use another technique and I found the instructions on another website. It wasn't a Microsoft website, but it worked for me. I have few lines of code. I will be using this line of code for switching to the beta channel. So I want to copy these two lines. I will put them in the description below the video. And then I want to open the command prompt. I go to the search box. I'm on Windows 11. I want to open the command prompt window as an administrator. Then I type in the search box command prompt. This is Windows 11. It works the same way on Windows 10. I right click the command prompt and I select Run as Administrator. Would you like to make changes? I hit Yes, and it opens the Administrator command prompt. All what I need to do is to paste the line of code that I copied. I hit Enter, and then I minimize the command prompt window. Let's go back to Excel. I don't want to sign in for now. I go to Account. And then I want to check for Office Updates. I click on Update Options, Update Now. It's downloading the Office Updates. It might take a few minutes. Now it's applying the updates. It's asking for permission to continue in case I was doing any work. I click on Continue. I don't have anything to save. And now it's applying the updates. And it opens back Microsoft Excel. I'm not going to sign in from this screen. I go to account. Et voila. I'm on the beta channel. Then what I need to do right now is to sign in. I click on sign in. I type my email. It asks for a password. Then I type my password. To confirm that I am the account owner, it's going to text me a code. I type the code I received to my cell phone. I want to verify. And it says Office has been updated. I hit close. To get rid of this notification in red, I'm going to close and reopen. I go to account and sure enough, I'm on the beta channel. I'm signed in. I can see my name in the upper left corner. 
And I have another account as well. I'm going to connect to my personal OneDrive and everything is fine. Let's create a file. I go to home. I click on blank workbook and I want to zoom in. What if I type equal image and here is the image function, the latest function introduced by Microsoft. Now I know that I'm on the most recent update and I'm on the beta channel, the insider version, and I have all the insider functionality. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to receive more tips like this one. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.